today we're looking at Dexcom, a falling machete. It is interesting for a couple of reasons, so stick with me. In the next three minutes, we're going to look at it inside and out. Nick here, doing some homework on Wednesday. Looking at a stock that cannot stop falling, normally I shy away from these, but this PL is intriguing enough. I'm not an expert at the ins and outs of the industry, so you should do homework into that. But um, on the face of it, it looks pretty intriguing. The PL doesn't have anything alarming. There might be the fact, uh, there might be some um, negative effect on the price action when I was talking to a few people who know something about it. Um, with respect to diet pills being successful may mean fewer people that need this drug. I think it's far-fetched, um, but nevertheless, it is a concern that they have, and so I should keep it on the back burner in my mind. As far as charts are concerned, uh, you can see that they're repeating a pattern, basically, like a scallop of sorts, where they try to rally, they sell the rally, they drop, they set a new low, they try to rally, rinse and repeat. So if I were to this to repeat itself one more time, this thing here, maybe it, it happens one more time. So you should be prepared if you decide to engage long that this might not be the actual bottom, especially that the support that I'm talking about is somewhat old. So let's zoom out to a, a daily chart. So this is a daily chart, shows the stock falling into a pretty strong bounce level, but it's pretty old. Um, from 2022, over a year old, that's summer of 2022. So um, it's not like a rock hard line in the in the ground, more like a cushion, and it could be wishy-washy, maybe five, six dollars, but it's worth swing trading it. So this is not point A to point B where I think it bottomed and it's going from here to here. I think it's gonna bottom soon into the support and have a strong bounce, and that dead cap bounce is what I'm looking for. Um, it could be just up to 88 or it could take a life of its own and get back to three digits in the next few months. Not a very fast trade, but one that's warrants um, looking into. So the methods with which one would address this, either with shares, so you'd have no time element, or in the money calls and in a couple of batches. So I would engage once, and if it falls a little bit more, actually a lot more, I would double down into my full full size position and then end up with a decent entry. The alternative would be to sell a put now, kind of like a stock replacement strategy. Sell a put and take the credits and engage with a call or a call spread, or the spread could be vertical or calendar or diagonal. So take advantage of this drop in order to sell into fear. Now, a little hiccup here is that in 15 days, they will re report earnings and the earnings reactions are coin flips. In fact, for this one, it's probably a little bit worse than a coin flip. Nevertheless, it's a big question mark. So patience maybe, you might miss it, you might not miss it if it bounces uh, through the earnings. So a starter position would be the solution. Nibble, maybe a quarter of the size of the position one would want to have in the end. This way we would be engaged if it rallies, and if not, uh, we would have the opportunity to engage with a full-size position at a better entry price after the drop. This was the idea on Dexcom. So I haven't jumped on it yet. I'm still eyeballing it. We'll see what happens in the next few days. I would caution us uh, jumping into stocks we don't know. So the first thing I would do after this video is uh, do a deep dive into the stock and um, other people's opinions, whether you care about their opinions or not, it's good to get educated just to get up to speed with the common thinking.